हरि ओम आफ्टर एक्सप्लेनिंग टू टाइप्स ऑफ वैराग्य वशिकार वैराग्य एंड परम वैराग्य प्रीवियस सूत्र पतंजलि एक्सप्लेन्स स्टेज ऑफ समाधि सूत्र नंबर सेवनटीन वितर्क विचार आनंद अस्मिता अनुगमा संप्रज्ञाता सो द नेम ऑफ दिस समाधि इज संप्रज्ञा लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड दिस वर्ड फर्स्ट इट इज सम प्रज्ञा सो इंपॉर्टेंट वर्ड इज प्रज्ञा बिकॉज सम इज अलॉन्ग प्रज्ञा नो द प्रज्ञा इज बियॉन्ड इंटेलिजेंस और वी कैन सी द हायर लेवल ऑफ इंटेलिजेंस इज प्रज्ञा Now intelligence is our capacity of brain or the mind also, but intelligence is connected with all five sense organs. We receive the information through the five sense organs: eyes, ears, nose, tongue, and skin. And then we analyze and interpret this information and convert it to knowledge. This is what the intelligence is. so intelligence is limited to the five sense organs only beyond five sense organs intelligence doesn't work that is the concept of intelligence that is getting knowledge to sense organs now the concept of prajna is beyond this intelligence prajna also getting knowledge only but not with the sense organs but without the sense organs so prajna doesn't need eyes ears nose tongue and skin to work and to operate and get the knowledge the knowledge is received without the sense organs so it's higher level this cannot be understood by the modern science because modern science is so is limited with sense organs only so as far as modern science is concerned or the intelligence is concerned the functioning of prajna is something like miracles modern science is saying like that extra sensory perception perception without sense organ similar way so that is what patanjali says prajna and sam prajna sam means along with prajna so this type of samadhi is called sampradnyata that means which is achieved with the help of prajna so when this samadhi is achieved the awakening of prajna takes place and the practitioner or the disciple gets the knowledge through prajna which is working beyond sense organs so he is not looking through the eyes but he gets the knowledge likewise so this is some prajna so patanjali explains some prajna samadhi in this stage now again one more point to be noted which is already explained by patanjali in third chapter the samadhi is explained in detail in third chapter he said dharana dhyan and samadhi these are the three stages of samadhi one has to start with dharana reach to the dhyan and finally attain samadhi we will study these details in third chapter but for this object is needed for dharana object is needed and on that particular object we have to concentrate the mind and then achieve dharana dhyan and finally reach to samadhi but up to that the object is there so object is essential now in this sutra patanjali gives a four different levels of the object and those are vitarka vichar ananda and asmita so there are four levels of object and depending on that the type of samadhi also varies so patanjali has explained the four different levels of object to attain the samadhi and that samadhi is called sampradnyata samadhi the first is vitarka this is connected with our sense organs that means the object is connected with the sense organs 
That means one has to select the object which is perceivable by the sense organs. And then you may be able to see, you may be able to listen, something like that. So we can say the object can be a concrete object. Maybe some statue, maybe some adol, maybe some picture, maybe some mantra. That is what commonly we also select for our meditation. So one has to select such object which can be perceivable through the sense organs and practice dharana, dhyan and attend samadhi. This type of samadhi is called Savitarka Sampradnyat Samadhi. Because it is with the Vitarka object, so it is Savitarka. And it is along with the Pradnya awakening, so it is Sampradnyat. So like this, this is Savitarka Sampradnyat Samadhi. The next level is thought, vichara. Vichar is thought. So the thought is an object for meditation or for dharana then samadhi. It is not perceivable by sense organs. It is just a thought in the mind. So one has to select a thought, concentrate on that, practice dharana dhyan and achieve samadhi. This type of samadhi will be called savichar sampradnyat samadhi. Savichar means along with the thoughts. And of course it is along with the pradnya, awakening of pradnya. So it is savichar sampradnyat samadhi. Third is Ananda. Ananda is a bliss. And bliss is different than the joy. Joy or pleasure. It is connected with our sensual experiences. And bliss is not connected with sensual experiences. It is an internal feeling. We have to awaken the bliss. So in this stage, the disciple or the practitioner has to awaken his own bliss after practicing all these techniques and concentrate on that only. Keep your mind focused on your bliss only. So very blissful condition you can say. And then develop dhyan and attain samadhi. That samadhi will be called Sananda Sampradnyat Samadhi. And the last one is Asmita. This is the highest level we can say. Asmita is <coughs> feeling of I, which is still on higher level of bliss. We always say, I am there, I am doing, I am reading, I am speaking, all these things. So feeling of I am is called Asmita. So in this case, one has to concentrate on the feeling of I am. And practice dharana, dhyana and samadhi. That samadhi will be called sasmita sampradnyat samadhi. Because one has to focus on that particular concept of feeling of I am. Then continue it, regular practice. So likewise, Patanjali explains the four different types of samadhis. Basically, it's Sampradnyat Samadhi. And that is subdivided in four different types. And the types depend on the object you select for the practice of Dharana Dhan Samadhi. So that's all. The details will be explained in further chapters and further sutras also. We'll see. Hari